Geronimo! Hello everybody and welcome. Today we will be watching me stand on a rock. That is right. That is all we're going to do today and that is it. Ooh, but wait, what? There's more? Yes, that's right. We're going to do a Skyrim mod review. Alright, let's begin. Jim, Jim, Jim. Alright, the name of this mod is the... Wait, um... Uh, let's forget the name of this mod. The Ashira Airship, and it's located... Just... Southeast of Riverwood. Right here on this little nice lake next to the Lady Stone and the South Marsh. Little Shine Pass, that's what it is. Alright. <coughs> now, let's go on up to it. Alright, now as soon as you get up here, you are at the very, very back of the ship with this lovely floating woman. In order to go in here, you just basically press E on the, the figure that is... Of, um, she's right, right there. Yeah, the floating, the glowing woman. And then you press this to go back down. Got there's a whole bunch of flowers all over this. So we are in the alchemy room, I guess. And you can sit on every single one of these benches. There's a tree here. There's a candle here. And if you walk down here, you will notice another bench. And you know some weeds. All right, right here. This is a chest, and all these chests you can put your stuff in, and you don't have to worry about them, you know, respawning and all that, and deleting all your stuff because they should be there. I think those are safe chests. I'm not sure though. Grindstone. Got all your barrels, fish barrels, workbench, smelter, and of course the flex. Blacksmith, yep, blacksmith. Uh, little archery range. Let's see if I can make a bullseye. Yeah, no, uh, just my luck. Some more flowers. Um, let's see. I really didn't understand what these were supposed to be. Are they supposed to be vents? I'm not sure. Why did I just do that? Nope, no, nothing more. You didn't see that. Didn't like that never happened. Alright. There's a tree. I really, really like this the setup of all like the nature, how they incorporated it throughout the whole entire ship. I think it looks really nice. And there's a lovely skull there, and gold. That's right, I am so rich that I have just gold laying around everywhere, and someone has made a mess of this. My golden fork and golden knife, that's right. There's some food here. There's my lovely new skull. Killed it myself. Thank you. And... Oh! Oh! I know a lot of people don't really notice this, but man, that's really cool how they got the uh, shadow effect on the walls. Like that 
little details. That's what I enjoy. Oh, nice. Coins up. Oh, why, why did I pick that up? I don't need that. I'm, I'm so rich, I don't even need that. Let's go to the lower deck first of all. And this, this is going to probably be a long modern view. Just for all of you right now. Ah, what are you doing? Ah, that's one thing that I had a problem with. Where'd it go? Uh, what just happened? I kind of don't want to be on the ship anymore. Anyhow, you get your... I, I don't even... I don't even know what that is. Uh, but you have a whole bunch of mannequins here, which... Yeah, they're, they're supposed to be right there. Anyhow, yeah. You have chests all over here. Place for a weapon rack. You have... All this. Weapon plates. Call yourself one. Bear head. I, I killed that and put that there. Now, if you guys will notice, this looks kind of weird over here in this area. And I'll show you why. <laughs> yes, again, the little details, they count. You got your boiler to there. Uh, steam pumps. I really like this. Got your woodcutter's axe, and you can chop wood. Which I don't know why you would. Is there an endless supply? Like how they have a bucket for over here, but they don't have one for over here. You just have water that just we, no one even knows where it goes. Wait, what? Black Briar, meaty cake. Whoa. I didn't know you could take those. Oh yeah. Let's close that back up. More water effect. And here is all going to be your potion stuff. And a book that will give me potions, but I've already read it. A wall there should be a potion table with a uh, me. I put all this stuff in here, so. Potion. And that's really cool right there. Because there is no other way of getting a Dragon Priest dagger. But than that, there's a enchanting thing. There's another. And here, you get an endless supply with a diamond on top. But yeah, you get an endless supply of snow berries and all that, anything that you need to do uh, alchemy. All that is in here. Look at that. You have your fish and all that. That's an endless supply. And that's right. I go out and I catch bugs. What the? Did, did, did anybody else notice this? The messing up the areas down there. <laughs> Apparently, there is one bug with this. That's that. But yeah, you get all your bugs in a jar and all butterfly dragonfly bee moth yeah you get all of them in a jar and your crimson wait crimson there I don't think you need to get that anywhere but here oh sorry to return to your roots apparently gives you quest no uh, I don't want to go that way uh, wait Alright, now I will show you the bedroom of this, which I really enjoy. And here's how you get up to the bedroom. You just open up that door when you walk into the left. There. That's where I'd keep my uh, light also. Shadow mark? What's it? Apparently nothing. That's right. Our gold. If you guys are in need of gold, let's go into the bedroom, shall we? This is taking forever. 
Alright. Now, I love this right here, but I wish you could get down in there somehow to harvest all this. They need to have, like, a door or something. But yeah, look at this. This is really cool. And... It's the Ashira. That's right. But yeah, you know. Can I have all this? I swear I'm going to take over White Run. Or, I mean, yeah, and I'm not. Now, this is cool. Shaving razor. That's right. Now you get your sink, and then you have your shower. And here's your bed. I'm not sure if you can put anything in these storage things, so I will trust them. I think it's only the outside ones, but this will tell you everything you need to know about the Ashira. Okay, blah, blah, blah. You want to, you can pause the video and read all this. But yeah. It tells you everything about it in the Hanging Gardens. The Sierra Shen made. More gold. Oh, and my goblet. And of course, my bed. And you have a little loop wardrobe right here with stuff in it. I will let you guys find that out. Don't forget about the safe down here. And you have another one of these creepy dudes running around here. I really hope you know when you're sleeping, you know, you don't wake up to see that looking at you right there. That's creepy. Yeah, Warhorn, which is another thing that you use for quest. Dwarf and Dagger, if you weren't that far in the game, this is the first place that'll give you a Dwarf and Dagger. Again, there's just a lot of stuff on here. And there's where that took you up. Alright, let's go out here and I will show you the wheel of the ship and the captain's area. Alright, here's the wheel, you know, you just kind of out here like la 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 driving the ship. Oh god, what just happened? Ah, I turned invisible. Oh my god. Okay, and you have the cannons here, which is really freaking cool. I like that, but they it doesn't let you use it no matter how many times you press E. Trust me, I should know. <laughs> yeah, I just love this. You have candles here all over the place. And here, there's another one. I think this one's safe also. I'm not sure though. I wouldn't take my word for it. I would look at the link down there in the description. It'll tell you everything about it. But yeah. And here's where they eat. And this is where we're going to leave off. This has been Caleb from Edge Canes. With your Fan Friday mod review of the Ashira. Thank you everyone. And if you like the video, like. If you dislike the video, dislike it. See you, comment, and tell us how we did. See you.